There's uh, so much out there um, in the sports. Uh, they need be they need help, and uh, in their perspective, we have a great deal here with the sports, and a lot of the young players and athletes, runner, basketball player, soccer player. A lot of time we get here, this little stuff is missing. So uh, with uh, the athletic director or coaches getting up there and make a connection, even going to camp, it will change a different life and open your mind and really how you see uh, how about international students. We recently started, me and one of my best friends, Mo Farah, four-time Olympic gold medals. We started a team called Mudane Group. And the reason we started in uh, that team, Mudane Group, is uh, just to give an uh, opportunity for all the Somali young boys who are good runners, but they don't have the opportunity also. We want to just create as a one nation, just without the trouble, some, anything that's going on in Somalia, just compete as a one country. A student athlete can benefit at international study or, in, or studying abroad because it will, it will open a different, uh, different doors in life. You get to meet uh, new people, new friends from different countries, different backgrounds, different religion. So it will just open di uh, and it will, say, it will also help you in the future while when you get to the workforce, you know, you'll have a better connection. Instead of just having the U of A connection, you will have a, some, some student athlete from a different university or a different country like China, uh, UK, Spain, all those countries. Uh, sports plays a big role in bridging the culture gap because uh, for me, being a four-time Olympian, I have seen it and I remember in I think it was 2016, if I'm if I'm right, or 2017. I remember that there was a session was going on. Uh, they put the sessions, so the U.S. team could not travel to to Iran, but somehow they lifted the session, which made the U.S. team could travel to Iran to compete against the Iranian team, which was a great example for uh, sports relations. Sports doesn't have any politics, any religion, any any ethnicity, nothing. And sports should be. It's only that one place you can feel is the equal playing ground and everybody's in equal and the same. Uh, join us for an international sports diplomatic conference April 19 to 21st. I see you there.